All right, coming off of the weekend against a pair of very stout opponents. Uh, the Jacks are looking to bounce back this weekend on the road, heading down to Cal Poly Pomona and uh, Cal State San Bernardino. I'm Elliot Portillo with Head Women's Basketball Coach Michelle Bento Jackson. Coach, thanks for talking to us again. Thanks, Elliot. Glad to be here. So just jumping right into it, um, obviously the results we didn't want this weekend. Uh, Cal State San Marcos came into town on um, quite a streak, looks really, really good, really consistent, but you guys held toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, top 25 team in the country. Um, and we talked about this after the game, but um, obviously, you know, you didn't get the result you wanted out of that, but there were a lot of positive takeaways from that game. Uh, can you kind of just go into the detail on some of those for us? Sure. You know, I was, uh, we were all quite disappointed on our performance on, <clears throat> excuse, excuse me, on Thursday against Cal State LA. Obviously the results, but it was also how we lost. I, I just thought we really fell short in some, in some areas that are just, just unacceptable and so I, I you know I questioned the girls and I challenged them and I was very proud of the fact that I thought that they stepped out on Saturday as you said against a very tough opponent and we were consistent in our effort and our intensity and in executing the scout um, we put ourselves in a position to win the game obviously it's unfortunate that we didn't but as you mentioned there are plenty of positives to take from the game. And uh, heading into this weekend obviously we're at the point in the year we're heading into the the halfway stretch this weekend marks the halfway point of the CCAA regular season. Um, and because we're at the halfway point, I feel the need to bring up some individual stat lines for us. Um, Devin Lewis, who has been a stud all season for you guys, averaging just a smidge under five and a half assists per game. She's first in the conference in assists per game and a total assist. 11th in the country in assists per game. Second in the conference in assists to turnover ratio. Fifth in steals, fourth in steals per game. And then Madison Perry, as always, uh, she actually hit her 600th career point over the weekend. Um, and she's second in the conference in blocks per game and blocks, second in field goals. Uh, first in scoring, um, just kind of go into their contributions thus far in the season and what we can expect from uh, them and uh, your other supporting cast uh, going forward. Right. Well, obviously, you know, Devin leads the way on the court for us, and she has been, you know, I, I thought in particular this last weekend, she put two really good performances back to back together. Um, again, unfortunately, we didn't come out with the wins, but I believe she was uh, one rebounder, one assist a shy from a triple double on Saturday. And just her consistency, the ball's in her hands a lot, and we trust her with the ball and her decision making, and we really rely on her to kind of get us going on the offensive end. But I do want to give her a lot of credit because I thought uh, both Thursday and in particular Saturday was one of her better defensive games as well. Uh, she, she was a factor on the defensive end, off the ball defense, really put us in the positions that we needed to be in, and just really proud of her effort. And then on the flip side is Madison Perry. And as you mentioned, I mean, yeah, she's a, she's a double-double pretty much every single night. I don't, definitely don't want to take that for granted. I'm I'm really hard on Madison, and I challenge her every single night and constantly raising the bar on her and all the girls. But, um, you know, she, she I thought she did a great job, too. I'm Right now I'm really challenging her on the defensive end. We know she's going to give us the rebounds, and, you know, she puts herself in positions to, to be a scorer for us as well, and now we got to get her up consistent on both ends of the floor. And now, again, going into a really tough uh, weekend, starting off with third in the conference. Um, they're on a three-game winning streak. They have a lot of momentum. Um, they have one of the most potent scores in the conference in uh, Ali, Bata, uh, Ali Bates, who has about averaging a little over 15 a game. Uh, what is kind of the strategy going in? What keys are you looking for for your team? Kind of um, what they need to execute going into this game against a really tough opponent? Right. Uh, you know, as you said, Pomona's coming off with two road wins uh, last week. One at the puzzle beater, actually. Um, and they're just they're just a quality team. And here we are going into a near home court. And one thing that Pomona is known for is they play a little bit different defensively. They play their matchup zone. And, you know, with so many new players that we have that have never faced that type of defense before. Obviously, we've been talking a lot about it here in practices. But how we adjust to that. And I just want us to, to be loose and really get the best shot selection that we can possibly get. Uh, Allie Bates is a tough one. She's she's not only is she a scorer, but she's physical. She's very tough, um, but she's certainly not the only player on their team that makes them go. Um, they do have a balance between their inside outside game, and as always, we gotta be we gotta be efficient on the defensive end. But uh, we gotta get we really gotta work for a great shot selection uh, on Thursday night. And then um, obviously the flip end of the doubleheader, you have Cal State San Bernardino on Saturday. Uh, what keys are you looking forward to, and what are you looking forward for uh, looking for from the girls going into that game? Right. Well, you know, we, we don't really talk about San Bernardino yet, to be honest with you. We really do this one game at a time, so we won't even begin talking about San Bernardino until Thursday night, if not Friday morning. Um, so, you know, that conversation, we'll, we'll take it as it comes, but right now our focus is really solely on Cal Poly Pomona. 
Awesome. That's all I got. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, Elliot.